2011 is the centennial of the founding of Sacred Heart Church at 219 East Rockwood Boulevard on Spokane's beautiful South Hill. Three years before Spokane became a diocese, Seattle Bishop Edward O'Day founded the parish in 1911, before there was even a church building. He assigned Father James Cunningham as its first pastor. The new parish's territory came from the growing St. Anne and Our Lady of Lourdes parishes. While they were waiting for their church, parishioners worshipped in the former Buchanan Funeral Home building on 3rd, as well as the other two churches. There was an existing Sacred Heart Parish in the South Hill area in the 1890s, which could be considered a forerunner of the current church. It had been started in 1891 to minister to the German-speaking Catholics in the area. The immigrant Germans acclimated themselves to their new environment more quickly than anticipated, however, and in 1901, the parish was discontinued. The church's bell, lumber, and other furnishings were used in the construction of St. Anne's Church. Construction of a new church was started in 1912 on property the parish had purchased on the corner of 7th and Chandler. The former church still stands on that location, but is now the home of Inland Northwest Health Services. In 1919, Father Charles McAleer was assigned to the parish, and it was through his efforts that a parish school began operation in 1921. For the first year, two Holy Name sisters traveled across town twice a day to teach in two basement classrooms. Father McAleer converted the rectory into a con. Father McLear converted the rectory into a convent so that the sisters would not have to make the tedious trip, and he moved into the garage. There were 79 students that first year, but the next year enrollment jumped to 120. Two more sisters were added to the staff, and the sacristy also became a classroom. Work was completed in April 1928 for the new Sacred Heart Parish School. Work was completed in April 1928 for the new Sacred Heart Parish School Building. Father Oakley F. O'Connor served from 1929 to 1950, and is the church's longest-serving pastor. During his tenure, the parish interior was remodeled. School enrollment, continu school enrollment continued to grow and in 1948, a convent was built for the teaching sisters. In 1956, special arrangements were made to televise the dedication of parish households to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Materials and a picture of the Sacred Heart had been mailed to parishioners, and they were given additional instruction at Sunday Masses prior to the event. At that time, the late Bishop Bernard Topol, himself a member of the parish, assisted by the pastor, Monsignor John Coleman, and a parish family, presented the dedication service in the television studio. The pastor hoped to encourage devotion to the Sacred Heart by the televised event. The parish population grew so large between 1950 and 1956 that history repeated itself, only in reverse. Two new parishes, our Lady of Fatima and St. Peter were formed, with some territory taken from Sacred Heart. The decision to build a new church came in the mid-1960s. A committee was formed in 1967, and a fund drive for the new church began in January 1968. Parishioners responded generously to the need for a new building and topped the $150,000 goal by $15,000. Construction began in 1968 and was completed in 1969. Father Erwin Sadlowski was pastor when the land for the new church was purchased, and Father Armand La Vierde was pastor during its construction. Here hopefully we'll have interviews of whoever was around during construction time. Um, and we'll continue here. The new church was designed by a parishioner, architect Carol Martel and his company. The design was created with the statement of the Second Vatican Council firmly in mind that there would be full participation by the faithful. Placement of the pews was circular around the altar with no person more than 45 feet away. 
The floor slopes 18 inches so that all worshippers can see what is taking place and participate more fully. The area for the choir and the musicians is situated near the altar at the front right side so music directors and song leaders could be seen as well as heard. Even motorists were considered in the design, so what they would see as they were driving by would be pleasing to the eye. The distinctive and beautiful altar, which is the focal point of the church's interior, was designed by Maxine Martel di Beni, the architect's daughter. The altar was carved in Italy of Carrera marble and is rich in biblical and Christian symbols. The Stations of the Cross are also original and unique, carved from brick by De Beni and then mortared into the church's brick walls. Parish history was not overlooked in the church's design. The tabernacle and the crucifix from the first Sacred Heart Church were given central place in the sanctuary, reminding parishioners of their connection to the past. Bishop Topol dedicated the new church December 7, 1969. A number of vocations to the priesthood and religious life have come out of the parish in its 100 years. All right, we'll have to figure it out in how many priests have been members, da da da. Father George Hespedes, who is retired, is one of those priests. Interview with Father George. The parish is a busy one, with over 700 families and many young people. Priests perform baptisms, marriage vows, confirmation, first this, that, whatever. The parish school evolved into Cataldo School, which is shared with the St. Augustine and Cathedral parishes, and young people through 8th grade attend classes there.